Hi everyone, welcome back to the Borough Home Bar. I hope you're all well. I have a delicious tequila cocktail for you this week. This tequila was gifted to me really, really kindly by um, Il Gusto UK, who reached out to me and yeah, gave me all these little free mini bottles of tequila. How cute are these? So it's the Padre Azul tequila. Um, actually, I'll do a close up now because how cute is this bottle? Oh my goodness. So yeah, I've never heard of Padre Azul. I'm not really like a massive tequila, but like I like tequila, but I don't have lots of different brands of tequila. So this is kind of new to me. So I'm really, really excited to try it in a cocktail. Uh, so the cocktail I have came up with is called the Ginger Dawn. And in this cocktail, we're going to be using the, um, the tequila, is it Reposado? Reposado? I think that's how you say it. Um, again, I'm not up on my tequilas, but that is the first one that I'm going to, I've got three different ones to try, so this is the first one that I'm going to do. Um, so in this tequila cocktail, I'm also using Amaro Menino, my absolute favourite, and I thought I haven't used that in a while. Some apricot liqueur, some uh, pastry bitters, and some ginger syrup. I feel like I'm not pretending anything right today. Pastry, pastry bitters. <laughs> Um, okay, let's enough talking because I'm talking rubbish. Uh, let's get on and start with in the shaker. I'm gonna just do this whole little bottle because it's just 50 ml, just just 50 ml of tequila. Um, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. So in the shaker, no need to measure because it is 50 ml. Amazing. Keeping these bottles as well, definitely. They're super cool. Love the little. Skull topper. Um, okay, 25 ml of the Amaro Nino. There we go. Lovely. Then I'm just going to do 15 ml of the apricot liqueur. If you have peach, you could use that as well, but I thought the apricot would go nice, but I think at a push, if you had something like peach, that would be fine. Then I'm going to do 10 ml of the ginger syrup. So I'm not even going to put it in there actually, just kind of eye it, just like a little bit of the syrup. Lovely. And then just a few little drops of the bitters. Just two, because I don't want it to be too overpowering. Here we go, that is everything in my shaker. So I'm going to add ice. I'm going to give it a good shake. We can obviously give it a good shake because the ginger syrup is in there rather than giving it a little mix in the glass. Okay, there we go. So for my glass, I've not been super experimental with my garnish today. This is kind of last minute ish. So I've not had time to plan <laughs> a garnish, but hey, the drink will make up for it. So drink in the glass and the drink goes to the top of the glass, which is better than a garnish in my opinion. And yeah, for the garnish, I just have some stem ginger just from the jar there on the top. So there we go. That is my ginger dawn. Right, come on Padre Azul, let's see what your tequila is like, shall we? Cheers! <laughs> that was a lot of shit talking than what I was expecting actually. Woo! Oh, this is good. I've just had now, um, so this is my pre, <laughs> my pre drinks. Oh my goodness. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Even though I've used everything, this is definitely coming through the most. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've forgotten how much I love the Marinino as well. You can really taste that. Um, really good with the ginger, really good with the apricot. I'm not sure about the bitters. I can't taste them too much. Maybe just because I put too little dashy in. Maybe do a bit more next time. Or Maybe a few dots on the top, but um, yeah, I'm so happy with that. Really happy. Thank you, El Gusto UK, for sending me that. That was really kind, and I can't wait to use all my other little bottles as well. So keep watching. Join me next time, and I'm, who knows, I might make another tequila cocktail. <laughs> Cheers, everyone, and happy cocktailing.